kind of hard to breathe in this thing. I hope you have good news for me. I really do. Come on, tell me already. Oh no. What happened? He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got... All right.
listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gurner Shade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gurner Shade. Tell them Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too.
and my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lard and Gerner Shade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. You startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. Well, I might ask you the same thing. You're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimental area. Oh my, such rude behavior. I'll have none of this from you. I have far more important things to do. Oh, goodness me, that rhymed. How marvelous. I'm finding your interruptions trying. The slightest mistake because of your distractions and my experiments will be ruined. My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh, wait, I'm a scientist. How marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous! Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get nearby equipment. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? You will? How marvelous. Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Please, don't insult my intelligence. You didn't even enter the hatchery. Now, I believe you have a job to do.
suppose I could answer a few more queries.
I'm only gonna ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time.
you've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. How marvelous! Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant mite? How marvelous! Ant mite it is! Hold still, please. exercise with one of the initiates when we were cut off by the super mutants. We saw him flee into a building up ahead during the attack, but before we could link up with him, we were pushed back. Now that we've cleared this area, we can press forward and attempt to recover the initiate. I only pray that he is unharmed. He's had enough training that he should know that when facing overwhelming odds, a brother's best recourse is to wait for reinforcements. I suspect that he is making a stand inside of that building, but an initiate won't be able to stand for long against those mutants. Excellent. We will advance forward slowly until we make contact with the mutants, then clear the area in front of the building. Once that space is under our control, we will hold position while you enter and recover the initiate. Then, you both should evac to the exterior.
Thank God someone's come. You have to help me, please. Oh, thank God. Paladin Horse sent you, didn't he? I knew he wouldn't leave me behind. When they attacked, we were cut off so quickly. My gun jammed, and I never even got a shot off. I couldn't do anything but hide. Sure, I guess. Can you fix it? Wow. That's... that's easy. Now at least I can shoot back at those mutant bastards. Are you ready? Right behind you. so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Well, papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. I wish I was tough like you.
people in this area. Good to see you. You're hurt. Fortunately, this is Some people are in such a hurry. Well, welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. You came back like you said you would. Did you find me a home? I hope you found me a place to live. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. I've never seen you in May. We get people to... I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Remember us if you need something. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? By something to do, you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Oh. Gather and behold the power of Adam.
kind of busy here. Good hunting. What do you need? I sure am. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps.
Hey, who are you? Right. What do you want? Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay?
hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. No way. If they were, you'd be staring at a burned out ghost town. I think the family are just a bunch of punks. Well, at first, they do typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know? Ah, look, you can call me crazy if you want, but there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Just watch your... What are you doing in here? Get the fuck out! Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Good. Not so This is
What the hell are you doing in here? Get... Look, so We're great. Just tell Mr. King that... Evening. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies, and all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Well now, there's no cause for name-calling. How rude. I have a pie cooling on the windowsill I must attend to. Good day. Not a good idea. see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Sure, go. Just like everyone else. I'm watching you. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? This has to be the work of the family. 
I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Thanks, kid. You're all right. I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Next time I see the family, Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's Traveling Junk Store, the depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need, assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Another satisfaction. I scour the wasteland for the very... And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. 
I suppose you could say that. Ultrajet is almost double the potency of jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Nope. It's 15 each. You wanna do it or what? Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. So, what did you bring me? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. Be more careful. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? I don't care what you need. This place is off limits, and that's that. Sounds like an interesting problem. Let me take a hundred of those off your hands. You know, lighten the load. I suggest taking the door around the corner if you want to get where I think you're going. You'll find it unlocked in a moment. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do.
Well, welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. You amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I have provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Yes, in a way I am brainwashing them. I am eliminating their fears, their inhibitions, and their shame. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Due to him? Nothing. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. You wish to speak to me again? I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to Ian. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? 
then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? No, I'm sorry. I'll never set foot in that place again. She... she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? You wish to arrive at some sort of a bargain? Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Always a pleasure. What can I do for you? The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside, we all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than mere friendship. Come back to us any time.
there. How about you just mind your own business? some help here. I it came out of nowhere. Best of all. She is the heroine of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Come on. It's a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? 
Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood, allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire.
sight of your own blood? What if that? Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? You got caps for me? Then there ain't no problem.
good hunting. to see you're staying out of trouble. What do you want to know? All right, shoot. Have a good one. This ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of the As a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division 